Let's talk to his presidential aide, uh, the media advisor to the president, Mr. Femi Adishina, joins us now. Thank you so much, Mr. Adishina, for joining us tonight. And I guess it's, good, it's a good news to see your principal back into the country. But give us an understanding of uh, his well-being, because we know that he went on a medical checkup. Uh, thank you. Good evening. We, we, we just received the president uh, at the airport uh, maybe just about an hour and 15 minutes ago. It touched down about 6.15 p.m. And, um, well, to the best of my knowledge as a non-medical person, I think he's in good shape. He was, in, he, 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 he was enthusiastic to see us again, greeted us warmly, and... Uh, I, I, I believe it's all right. We don't dwell on what is in the social media uh, because we, uh, it, it was in the social media that the president visited the APC leader, Bolatino. Can you confirm to us and perhaps uh, what the, uh, that meeting was about? Yeah, that meeting actually happened. <clears throat> it happened, but it, it's all about goodwill and best wishes. We know that... Uh, Ashiva Dubala Ahmed Tinubu had been in London at about the same time the president was there. Like you said, uh, we don't uh, believe what we read in social media, but we know we have read a lot about Ashiva Tinubu's health. So the president's visit was a goodwill visit, a best wishes visit to Ashiva Tinubu. So it's not perhaps, uh, as, uh, as some were saying, uh, r r linking it that maybe the president is supporting uh, Bola Tinubu's uh, possible presidential ambition. The president still has two years, less three months in his tenure of office. <laughs> so for him to start supporting something now, will be somebody now will just be like jumping the gun. And you know that President Wari will never do that. We know that before the 2019 people began to campaign for him, before INEC blew the whistle for campaigns to start, he was the one who came up and said, no, don't do it. Don't jump the gun. So the president himself would then not jump the gun in terms of supporting one candidate or the other. Also recall that he had said that anybody that wants to be president after me him to go out and walk. That means the president may not be supporting anybody until maybe perhaps a, a candidate of the party emerges. No president will worry, he will never jump the gun. Okay. Let's talk about, because I know so much will be waiting for the president uh, in the last two weeks. Uh, is there any matter of state that is... Uh, Agenda that the president will be attending to us. What are you uh, able to tell us that the president will be attending to as soon as he has arrived now? Well, the, the first thing is to get briefings. Get briefings from the vice president. Get briefings from his top aides. They will fill him in on what had happened in the past three weeks. And you know that on the security front, a lot had happened. In fact, the tide has turned against the insurgents, it has turned against the bandits, and uh, there will be a lot of filling in for the president. He will get briefings. And then, of course, you know that there have been a lot of infrastructural developments. You could see Minister for Works and Housing going all over the place, inspecting this, inspecting that, declaring this open, commissioning that, and the president will need to be briefed, particularly by the ministers, and his top aides and top government officials. Um, so, uh, with what we're saying, that may not happen the weekend. That may be coming from uh, beginning of Monday, is it? Officially? Yeah, most likely. Because he has just flown in from Europe. He deserves his rest. So, um, maybe tomorrow he may want to unwind. But knowing President Buhari, he, will, he could start receiving briefing at, at any time. I remember a trip we... We, we made to America one time. We landed and we all were tired. Before we knew it, we was already at a meeting with Madeleine Albright, the, then, uh, the former American Secretary of State, when even we younger people wanted to go and, uh, uh, and take a nap. The president was already at that first meeting. We all had to rush to join him uh, at the meeting. So the president could start receiving feedback at any time. 
for the president, what more can you tell us about th that London trip? What would you say, uh, in your own view, is the biggest news that have come from that meeting that the president had in London? Well, you, the, the, that London trip is in two dimensions. The first dimension was the uh, Global Partnership for Education Summit. That is already in public domain. The president took part, he spoke about the state of education in Nigeria, and he attracted support for Nigeria. His presence being there, and Nigeria, about $120 million in support for education in five states in the country. There were many other positive things from that summit just because our president was there. So I think that's the first dimension of the trip. The Before you go to the second dimension, the, Mr. Mr. Adeshino, which states are these? Which yes. are these five states? Well, they're, they're already in the public domain, but I remember Oyo is there, Adamawa is there. I, I can't quite recall all the five now, but the five had been mentioned. I and the Minister of State for Education were on NTA where we returned, and we spoke about it, and the five states were mentioned. Uh, later after this program, I can give you those five states if you still need them. Mm, the minister had actually uh, spoken to us about it, but, you know, uh, okay. television is now. For those who are watching now <laughs> who did not watch my interview with the Minister of State at the yeah. time, uh, I need the benefits to understand. So if you go to the second yeah. dimension here. Yeah. yeah, the second dimension is the health check, which is actually private. But one thing I'd I like to say about the health check was that it was not an emergency in any form. It was just routine. You know that that trip ought to have taken place June ending. We had announced it. But when the summit on education came into the picture, the president decided to then wait and merge the two, the summit and his health check. So if it was emergency, he couldn't have waited back three, four weeks before he traveled. But because it was routine, he waited, participated in the education summit, and then did his health checks. And he returned to them. So before I allow you to go, Mr. Adeshina, because I know that you, you need to take a nap, possibly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Uh, there are a lot of them reported about the APC crisis and they talked about they're waiting for the president to intervene and uh, give uh, uh, to show the way uh, the party needs to go. Um, is that part of his lineup of activities? And what are you hearing? Or what do you know that you can tell us about his possible intervention? Yes, you know that the president actually derives his own legitimate from his party. Without that party, he doesn't have a platform. So he is a member of APC, he's a leader of APC, so he must be interested in the well-being of his party. So we have to say that he will get briefings from the leadership of the party and a definitive position will be taken on the issues that have been raging vis-a-vis -vis the party and the caretaker committee. Thank you so much. Uh, let me allow you to get some uh, Nigerian air and uh, uh, out of the European uh, air that you, you've had over the past weeks. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Additional, for your time tonight. You. Appreciate it.